Hey, what's going guys? This is my uh, trade day results. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this, but I had to force over this video because uh, the sound quality was kind of messed up on it, so I had to redo it. That's kind of why uh, I was holding it off because uh, I didn't really want to do it. But anyways, uh, here we go. Start of the week, Yakupov, uh, Gretzky straight up. Uh, no, I, I think Yakupov's like 150, 160. Uh, Ribeiro and Gallagher. Gallagher goes for like 35. Ribeiro goes for like 50, so I think I delay that. Now, Martin St. Louis, uh, he is the 90 version. You can see his salary is like 1820, so uh, he only goes for like 100k, so I rejected that. And here we got Zetterberg, Kadri, Gretzky, and Sagan. Gretzky is the 90 version, New York Rangers. And uh, we got Tyler Sagan. Uh, Zetterberg goes for like 45, Kadri goes for like 45, so that's 90. Uh, with Gretzky, that's like another 90, so that's 180. With Sagan, was 20, so that's like 200k. So I look back at this offer. And I think I reject this because I love I love this offer. This was like 200k uh, value for Yakupov. So I'm not sure if I take it yet. I think I delay it so I can uh, wait for other offers. All right, so I take it here. No, I delay it. Yeah, so I was right. So uh, moving on, I went to Kovalchuk. Uh, he has five trade offers: Gagne and 31k. No, I didn't like that offer. Uh, Gabrik 10k. Gabrik goes for around 60k, so that's like 70k. Uh, Jimmy Howard uh, doesn't add up. Boland, Solani, Ham Hughes, Erickson, 57k. Uh, I don't like 4 for 1 trades and they don't add up. Uh, Gallagher and Kessel. Kessel goes for 35. Uh, Gallagher goes for 35. Like, it's a good trade offer, but Gallagher is on the center position and it costs a lot to change him back, so I decided to reject that. Uh, I really had a hard time deciding if I wanted Gabrick or not, but I didn't want it. I'd rather keep Kolachuk for the next trade day. Uh, then I got Parise, uh, Bacchus, Ben, Bufflin, Richards. Uh, Richards is about 10k, Bufflin's about 10k. Like, they're all about 10k, Bacchus is about 15, so it's like 60k, but I didn't like the offer. It's just too many players. And then this offer I got Finif, Spezza, Ryan, Lupul, and 11k. Uh, Finif's like 20k, Spezza's 20k, 40. Bobby Ryan's 50. It just doesn't add up. Uh, I'd rather keep Parise for the next tree day, so I rejected that. Moss, Hannon, Keith, and Gallagher. Or, not Gallagher, Gagne. So, uh, I, I needed Hannon, but it wasn't for the right price. Gagne goes for like 25k. Uh, Keith goes for like 12k. Like, it doesn't add up. Uh, I'm not going to pay like 20k for Hannon. Like, even though I said I would be a bit lenient, like 20k is a bit too much for me. So, I had to reject that. Roy, Horn, Grabner, and 52k doesn't even come close to. I mean, 180k, so I rejected that. Uh, that offer I rejected. Cavalier doesn't add up. Marshawn, Campbell, 7k does not add up again. Uh, Myers, Marlowe, 45k. Marlowe goes for about 100k, and Myers goes for 10k, so that's like 150. Then we got Suter, Subban, Voracek, and Saab. And I had a good, uh, I had a hard time thinking about this offer. Uh, Suter is about 60k. Uh, Subban is about 70k, and then Borchek was 80k, so it added up. Uh, that offer I rejected. Miller, 105k. Like, I liked the other offer better, so I rejected that. Uh, this offer, he added 20k, so I rejected it. it was this offer I liked, so I took it. So, thanks for the offer. Enjoy your start of the week, Yakupov, and I'll take these four players. They'll be up in my trade block for next time, if I haven't already sold them. Uh, next one. Uh, I think I go back to that Uh Yeah. So Suter goes for about uh, 60k. Subang goes for 70. Borchek goes for 80. So that's like 150 plus 60. So that's 210, 204, and soft, which I kind of needed. So that's like 204k. So uh, yeah. So I like that offer. Patrick Kane now. Uh, Twick again like Kane and Gagne doesn't add up. Uh, Patrick Kane goes for 300k minimum. Uh, Stamkos, Evander Kane, Aguila, Edler, Stamkos goes for 200. Uh, Evander Kane doesn't go for that much. Pajot and Keith. Pajot is very low end start of the week, so I rejected that. Uh, moving on to Datsuk. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, check this, the values of these players, so uh, be right back. Alright guys, I am back. I checked the values for all the players, and uh, this offer was really good. Suter, like I said, goes for like 204k this time offer and that's kind of more than I wanted. Starting price, I know he goes for like 190k in the market, Datsuk, so it was a pretty good offer, so I took that. 
And enjoy your dad's suit, and I sent all these guys to my collection. Alright, next, uh, we got Patrick Kane again. Uh, Le Cavalier straight up, definitely not. He's boosted too, which is the worst. Uh, Alright, and moving on to Carter with one. And then Jonathan Taves, uh, playoff edition. Like, yeah, Carter goes for like 90k. Taves goes for at least, I would think, 150k minimum. Could drop in the future, but uh, from what I know, he goes for 150k. So thanks to whoever sent that offer. That was a really good one. Uh, enjoy your start of the week, Carter. Uh, moving on to Parise with three. Uh, Kessler, Daniel Steen, and Henrik Steen. Uh, Parise goes for like 150, so this doesn't really add up. Like, I know they're all Vancouver, but I just don't like that offer. Uh, Kunitz, Ott, and Howard doesn't add up again. Uh, Vlad, Wheeler, Luongo, Vokun, like, pretty low on start of the weeks, and, and Luongo, uh, I rejected it. I didn't really want that. And moving on to Chara, uh, Boyce, that's not even one I needed, so I rejected that. Uh, Letty in 31k, not a bad offer. Uh, Nugent Hopkins 25k, no. Uh, Nugent Hopkins only goes for like 7k. Doughty, Kopitar at 5k. Uh, doesn't add up, again, like, they're like 10k each. Zetterberg, 10k, pretty good offer. Nabokov, start of the week, doesn't go for that much. Bufflin, Havlad, doesn't go for much again, so I reject that offer. Uh, Duncan Keith, I know they're the same overalls, but I didn't want that offer. And Perron, uh, only goes for like 20k, so I rejected that. But moving on to yeah, Chara again. So I had a hard time deciding between Letty and uh, Zetterberg and 10k. But I think it came out to be uh, Zetterberg and 10k because uh, I know Zetterberg goes for like 45k in the market. And with the 10k, it's like 55k. But Letty, 31k, like Letty could get maybe 20k. But I would rather take my chances with Zetterberg because I know people like base cards and... He's doing pretty well in real life, the playoff edition, so I took that offer because there might not be that many of them. Uh, but anyways, moving on to Kunitz with four trade offers. Uh, Smith, Little, and Porter. Uh, not, none of the players I need, so I rejected that. Uh, Little, Smith, and Sakura. Sakura goes for like 1k, uh, but even that, it doesn't add up. Like I'm not going to take just Sakura straight up for Kunitz, so I think I reject that. Uh, like Little, Smith... Could barely go for me 1k. Uh, Dupuis, Marchand, I 1k. Definitely not. Sov, Weber, Johnson, and Langenbrunner. So, uh, Weber goes for like 3k. Sov goes for like a k. So it doesn't add up again. So I gotta, I have to reject that. Um, 20k straight up for Anderson. Uh, that was pretty much what I was looking for. So I took that. Plus the Philly change team goes for like 2.5k now. So it kind of added up in my opinion. So I took that. Sign into my consumables. Uh, next one, I have uh, Couture. Uh, already hit with a 60k bid. Uh, Ryan Kessler, Stewart, 2k, and plus 2 all, and 10 duration, so that's like 5k. Uh, so I delayed that offer. Core Perry, 30k. I like the other offer better, so I rejected that. Uh, Marshawn, Vishnovsky, Purcell. Marshawn goes for 15k. Purcell goes for 15. And then Vishnovsky goes for 20, so that's like 50. And there's already 60k bid, so. I didn't want to take that offer. And this offer was pretty good. Kessler goes for 50. Stewart goes for 20. So it's 70. So it's about 75k right there. So I really like that offer better. So I think I'm going to check the value of Kessler right now. So I, I'll leave that in the video. But you'll see who, uh, how much his value is. And there weren't that many. Like 50k. But there's only three in the market. And he's not in the next playoff edition. So uh, his price will definitely go up. And I know there's a ton of Kessler fans that... Really like his face offs, and that's the reason why I took it. Um, you'll see right now, I will accept the offer because it's a pretty good one. Uh, so I think I'll take that. Stewart, I know, goes for 20k. He's pretty average, uh, 88 overall, but I know he's pretty wanted in the market. So I took that. Um, yeah, so 75k. Because um, is pretty good in the game, anyway, so I took that. Logan Couture pretty surprised I got 60k bid on him just because uh, I sold him for 50k. There were a lot going for 50k before, so this offer was pretty good. Um, yeah, so I take that offer. And then I sent all these guys to my collection, kind of dragged that on for way too long. Um, next player we've got is Bobrovsky, uh, the goalie. And Holtby, 1k, two jerseys I don't need. 
Holby doesn't go for that much, so I reject that offer. Brodsky is the 89 version, so it wouldn't make sense for me to downgrade. Uh, Molson, I uh, got a bid on Bogosian, 50k, so he sold. Uh, Molson, Bannock, and 2k. Bannock goes for like 4k on a good day, so I reject that offer. Rather keep Molson, uh, playoff edition. I know there's a few people that want him, so I reject that. Uh, next player we have is Nabokov with one. Uh, we got Drewski in 1k. Drewski goes for about 1 to 2k. Uh, he's not he's not the high-end rare players, but uh, I know there's a ton of him in the market, so I reject that. So I'm not going to accept 3k for uh, uh, the Bokov. So next is uh, McCulloch. Kirby, Pommelville, Weiss, and Fleischman does not add up. I don't need any of these players except Fleischman, but I already bought him, so there's no point of me taking that offer. Uh, next one, we got Backstrom with a 35k bid. Uh, we got Ben, Fleischman. Uh, Fleischman I need, Rome I need, Sob I need, uh, but I already picked up a Sob, so it's just Fleischman and Rome. Rome goes for about 5k, Fleischman goes for like 2, 3k, so that's like 15, and then Ben is like 6k, so that's like 23, 24k at most, I would think, so I reject that offer. I'd rather take 35k bid and then just buy out Rome, uh, if that was the case. If there wasn't a bid, maybe, but uh, I didn't want to take that offer. And then Guinan. Lupul, Saab, and Grabowski. And I didn't see any Guinans in the market for at least a week. And I know there were t uh, th there were basically none. I know there's a lot of Marchands in the market, and plus he might be in the next start of the week. So I was like, I was kind of iffy about this offer. Uh, Lupul goes for like a K, Grabowski goes for like 1K, Saab goes for a K, so a 3K Guinan. I said goes for about right around 5K, but I wasn't sure if I was ever going to pick up a Guinan. Uh, I don't, I'm not totally sure what his name is, but um, I take that offer because uh, I didn't know if I'll ever pick one up. So that was a good offer in my opinion, so that's what I mean by lenient. Um, I think a quick song, or I don't try to trade Paul, yeah. Uh, I'll be lenient to offers where I know I can't pick up players from the market. Uh, next one, we have Molson. Uh, Backstrom 1k, definitely not. Backstrom goes for like 3 to 4k. Uh, Molson goes for like I would think at least 6 to 7k, so I reject that offer. Uh, sorry about that, but it was pretty close. Uh, if you want, you can send another trade offer. Uh, Yager, the right wing, has an offer. Finnef in 5k and Pittsburgh change team. Finnef goes for like 30 to 40k. Yager goes for like 50k plus, so I reject that. Then we had Nash with 3. Um, Gagne, Heatley, and 2.7k. Gagne goes for 10k, Heatley. Uh, it doesn't add up, so I reject that. Um, I don't think Heatley goes for more than 3 to 4k. And then we got uh, these three rare players, and the other one was Markov. Like Garbett, Bissonette, and Johnson. And if you ever looked in the market for these players, there are none. I am telling you, I searched for them, and I could never find them. Uh, I know who sent him this trade, kind of. Uh, he is a subscriber on YouTube, and uh, he kind of messaged me about it. But this offer was pretty good. Johnson, Bissonette, and Garbett. Uh, I know Nash goes for like 25k, but uh, this offer was pretty good. Uh, three rare players that, that I needed, and it kind of just shrinks down my collection that I need. Johnson goes for 5k, Bissonette goes for like around 7k, Garbage goes for about 5k, so you got around 17k, but they're all rare players, so I took that. Like, most of these players on the market, you can't even buy out. Like, they put uh, starting prices without buying now, so it makes it even more annoying to buy the players. But right there, I take the uh, the three players for Nash. And I think that's all the trade offers for now. And I think I'll fast forward the clip and I'll show you if there's any other trade offers. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back. Um, I'm doing the gold pack right now and I'm opening it up. Uh, winner gets the four rare items and 2K. I posted in the description who the winner is. But right now, I opened up the pack. Uh, there was a change team, uh, a couple players. Uh, I think I put Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey, the uh, change team card, uh, I put in the plus 7 rebound and a plus 9 contract, so you get that, plus 2k. I posted the winner in the description, uh, but right now, I'll show you a small little preview of my other clip, uh, so be just I'm just going to switch over. Alright guys, so right here, uh, you can see that I bought a recording device for my uh, trades. Uh, the quality isn't that great, I know. You can't really see the numbers at the top right, but I was a little busy. Uh, I had a chance to stop by Best Buy, and I picked up a Dazzle. 
Um, the quality is bad because it's using component and not SD uh, S video. But uh, I pre-ordered an S video cord on Amazon, and it should be coming in uh, sometime this week. So uh, quality is bad right now, but I am going to uh, start recording with the Dazzle. Uh, it's not horrible. Like the sound, you could hear from the previous clip that the sound was pretty pretty good. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna start using this Dazzle in a week or so, so you guys can see better quality. So I'm not just filming from my uh, camera. I know a lot of people have been asking me to get a recording device, so here you go. I got it. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please give me a like for getting this new Dazzle. Uh, I know that uh, it, it's definitely not cheap. But anyways. I uh, hope you guys have a good day and see you guys later. Bye.